How's it going guys? My name is Joe Master Pollen 2. And today I am going to show you how to change the just Minecraft SP launcher. Now I've got the FaceTime thing. Brilliant timing, I'm gonna mute that. So I'm doing a video! And uh, when so I'm gonna try to train something from this you know this here into this when it loads in something like this. It's fairly easy, I'll leave a link to this in the description, this jar. So you need GUI GUI, which I lost the link to, sadly, so you might have to get this somewhere else. Talk about bad time for a FaceTime call. Uh, just go to this here. Shop! In time. Do a video, Sam. And this here, JD GUI. Windows, that's what I got. So, that's what it's going to be called. And there's the Microsoft P. You copy and paste it in. Use it. I'll show you, but I won't save sources. And why I'm doing it, watching my cousin play Call of Duty. He's totally underage. You double click on it and you'll get these. Uh, you click file, save all sources. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. Once that's all done, you go to Eclipse. Eclipse, also, I've lost the link to. And I've had it open earlier today just doing that program and it messed up, so I've had to go and go to the older version, not launch show, because I messed up somewhere. Sam, did you know I messed up the launcher? I started trying to force update and it didn't work. So I had to change it. No, I've just deleted the jar and I'm redoing it, but on camera. Sam, you're lagging. You're lagging. What, on the game? No, on the camera. Well, my clip slows up. Oh, it's going to be slow. Yeah, I'll be back when it's open. Alright, guys, we're back. Eclipse has finally opened up. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know what name of this crap is. Da 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 da. But that. We click file. New. Java project. And I'm going to mute Sam a bit. Ah, this is Blockcraft Launcher, I'm going to call this Blockcraft SP. Or just Blockcraft S. What the? I don't know why it's doing that for me, but... I'm just going to ignore that for now, because it's already got my settings saved, so I don't need to worry. I'll be back when Alright, back, it's done. So then we've got this right here. So, I'm just going to re import. So it takes all the files back. That's a screwed over thing. Uh, finish. Yes to all. So now you're going to get some errors. Here. Here and here. I'll show you how to fix the decode. To fix the decode is pretty easy. Sam, you're listening to this. 
No. So to fix the decode Java, simply scroll down to the error and click, double click on it. I can double click on it. I'm having some di technical difficulties and click rename to distance. Oh jeez. Having some technical difficulties here with the uh, computer lag because I'm recording. Rename to distance. Double click the top one, that should do that, that would fix that problem. Rename. Distance. Rename. So that's the decoder all fixed. Ready to go. Uh, apparently I still got an error. Oh yeah. We change distance to 11 like that. So then you'll get these two errors. Because I've turned the sound down on the iPad. And you'll get this thing here. When I first did this, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. You got to internalize the variable. Or however the hell you say that. Click the air, this one. Internalize. So here we go, it's all ready. Done and dusted. No need to return to the decode thing. As you see, it's done. So we can go to a go to the Minecraft net one we'll start at the util Minecraft util I don't know if you guys can hear me my mic's on the top right corner of my screen working dictionary double double click on this click rename double click here Great local variable. That's all those fixed. Now this bit here did confuse me a lot. Here, create local variable. Here. Make make it a string. Change the R to string. So then you'll get another two errors here. Quite easy fix. Click here and delete that one. That's that problem fixed. This is just delete that line. Uh create local variable. Hmm. Double click. Double click remove. There we go. Now that's fixed. There we go. That's fixed. We go to the game Minecraft launcher. Sammy, you're listening to this. Now we get. I was going to say a shit word, but now I take a report. We got all this junk here. See this Val with a weird cash sign? We got to. Get rid of that. And once you're done, double click it. I'll ask to make it to a final. Double click on final. That's that problem solved here. Remove argumented and matched. Spread. Da -da 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 -da. Here, as you see, blah, 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 blah. Once you've changed it to a final once, it will do it for the rest of them. Change modifier to console to final. There we go. Double click here. Do this. Get rid of this. I don't really know how to explain things very well. I've just double clicked on the completely wrong area. Change modifier to final. Uh. 
But I've been recording for 10 minutes apparently. And we've got this here. Double click. Where I don't quite know what this is. There we go. I don't know what's going on, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I figured out the problem. I got rid of the console by accident. Let's get rid of that. It's because I got my keys bind all weirdly on my keyboard. Can you see more, more Val? Shut up! Let me get a weird long line here. Double click on this top one. Remove. Red thingy, my jig, and there uh, we don't go. I forgot all of this stuff. Oh, oh, uh. wants me to change it to a final. Stop clicking on that. Double clicking on this. There we go. Double clicking on this. Buff, 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 buff. That's fixed. Clicking here. Buff, 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 buff. That's fixed. Buff, 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 buff. That's fixed. Click on this one. Buff, 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 buff. That's fixed. Any more errors? Doesn't look like it. I'm not really sure if you guys can hear me properly. Alright. Here, launch frame. Blah, blah, blah. Double click here. Change modifier to final. That's those two fixed. Double click here. Double click on this thingy. The light bulb with the X. Rename. This computer is so slow and annoying. It's unbelievable. Got an Intel 95GM graphics card, which is just absolutely crap. Rename. There we go, that's this class done. Uh, and as you can see, next.minecraft is clear to go. Now we're going to still act, just get the creator's file. This guy actually made it. And I'm just showing you guys how to fix all the errors so you can design it for your own and make it whatever job file. You just have a bit of knowledge. As, well, I can't talk, I've got no knowledge whatsoever. But when you when you figure it out, it's e qu actually quite easy. Like, to be honest, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oops, should I save that? I don't think I saved it. Double click here. And then this you just got to import. And that's just plus forward. Save. Yeah, I didn't save this class. So it hasn't registered that I've done it. Save this. Wait for that to go. There we go. So now this fish is ready to go. When you. Oops, 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 oops. It's gonna run my other launcher thingy with jigs. Get out of here, that crap face. Back when it's. Uh, I don't want to run first. You click run. Run. Configurations. Let 
and this is open. Double click on Java application. Well, uh, slide out technical difficulties. I cannot see. Them. Sorry about this. I'm having some really bad technical difficulties. So, yeah, I've just had to shrink. It's just gone all weird now. Computer's getting a bit tired today. You get to this. You click browse. If you have the one to one project. Double click on Minecraft, SP, Blackcraft, SP, or whatever you call it. And click search. Double click on that. Click apply and run. And now it should run just normal Minecraft SP. Why has it done that? Run configuration. Oh, it's like a Java applet. Uh, dummy. Uh, I am so freaking tired. Job application, double click. That selected, click search. Ah, oh. launch a frame. There we go. Apply, run, running. Da 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 da. And it should take you to the Minecraft SP frame like this, and it's up for editing. You can edit it all you like. I've just got rid of that. I've changed that. I've changed this. I did have my other stuff, like my website. Bye. It's all gone, so yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, subscribe to see more. Uh, if anybody knows how to make it download my own jar correctly, I'm gonna leave a download link to the Blockcraft in the description. So, if you can figure out to get the jar to download it, and just tell me the line of code. And yeah and instead of taking you to minecraft it'll take you to my block craft so what i've done with it and buff it's me straight here so yeah guess i'll see you guys later